Good day, Brutal Planet listeners. This is Eric Peterson, and today I am joined by Jonas from the band Bombs of Hades. How are you doing, uh, Jonas? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. And uh, just going to ask you real quick where you're quarantining from. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> where, are you, where are you quarantining from? Where are you hiding out from? I, oh, I'm quarantining in Sweden. Oh, good. <laughs> On the good. west coast of Sweden. Good. That's a good place but to we're, be. But we're not really quarantined here, so. Oh, you're not yet. No, no, we're, we're we're free to do to go outside and do our daily business and stuff. Just keep our distance from people and stuff. So, and then uh, how how has things affected you guys since all this? It sounds like it doesn't hasn't affected too much. Then, well, I mean, of course it has an effect. I mean, it's like it's, when it comes to work and stuff, it's affected the whole country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I mean, uh, I mean, we're in the media from time to time now, Sweden, because we're taking a bit of a different approach, but to the whole no quarantine and just that, I mean, it's mainly a lot of people, everyone who more or less works at an office works at home now. Yeah. 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 And so, and, uh, and it's, I mean, it's, it's, of course it's affected Sweden. I mean, we got like. A bit over a thousand people dead now, and uh, like eleven thousand infected or whatever. Yeah. I think. Yeah. But it's like for me, it's uh, I'm actually the only like weird thing for me is just like there's no like shows to go to or shows to play. And, I mean, which that's the main thing that affects me. You know? Yeah, yeah, and it affects me too because I I'm just dying to get to a show. Yeah. <laughs> So will you guys have a new uh, new EP coming out in a few hours, actually, called yeah. Phantom Bell. Um, yeah. Did you guys decide to do that versus a full-length album um, as like a transition into another full-length album? Or what made you decide to do a as a teaser? Or how, how, how did that come yeah, about? Yeah, well, it's, it's kind of like just to get something out there because it's been over, a bit over four years since the last album came out. And it's, I mean, it's not that like, because usually in between every album we've done, it's like two years in between every album. And now it's been four years. And it's it's not because we didn't want to do an album because I didn't really have any time. Yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. Of, because of At The Gates. But yeah. that that's the main reason, really. Uh, but, I, but actually now I think it's quite good to actually have, because the last album was our like most, like successful album i mean i don't know sales wise or whatever but the one that, that like people talked about most and uh just feels like after doing an album like that it's better to just wait a few years to do the next one <laughs> i don't know but we just did this ep just to get something out there just tell everyone that we're we're actually still here you know yeah and then then you plan on releasing another album probably next year maybe Next year, yeah. The plan is to record it like sometime in like September, I think. Okay. I'm, uh, I mean, I've been, I've had like the whole idea for the next album I've had in my head for the past three years, probably, or something like that. But I haven't, I mean, we had like two songs written uh, like for three years now. Oh, really? <laughs> but okay. I'm, I'm actually working on. The whole thing now to get it together you know I, all the ideas for the whole record has been like floating around for all these years but we're finally doing it this year so it's gonna it's gonna be another epic record like the like the last one then yeah uh, this one is gonna probably gonna be a lot more epic than the last <laughs> nice one. nice i like yeah. to hear that so the the first song right out the gate on the is uh, the title track, which is Phantom Bell. And um, it has some great, great, it screams. I mean, it tell us a little bit about that song and it has a little bit of a motorhead sound to it. Yeah, it's kind of like, I wanted to do uh, a high on fire song playing my motorhead or vice versa. Yeah. Know? So it's, that's kind of like, I mean, uh, I love I love high on fire and I love Matt Pike. He's a really good friend and Jeff also from high on fire really good friends and I love everything they do 
with that band. So it's it's one one of those bands that all of us in Bombs of Hades like agree on. Like when it comes to like bands that are active now, mm-hmm. that that uh, that's more or less the only band that I'm influenced by when when it comes to like metal bands like ah, that are okay. active now. It's it's High on Fire. That's the only band that I really like. Nice. And uh, otherwise, it's just I just listen to weird prog stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and other guys listen to completely different stuff and they think you're weird because yeah, you listen yeah, to prog. We, we all, I mean, we all have like, we all love the same music, but with so many different stuff, it's like we all love the same country, we all love the same psych uh, prog stuff, we all love the same classic hard rock and metal and stuff. So it's, we're kind of, we're always on the same page, you know? Okay. All right. When and, it comes to that. And then the next song is is uh, Bridge of Size, right? And that has yeah, that's a little more groovy and it has some orchestration in it. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I I love to use the mellotron all the time. So, uh, 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 if you if you know what that is, uh-huh. oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> well, a lot more people know what the mellotron is these days, so yeah. which is which is nice. It's mainly because of Opeth, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah. And then, uh, and then well, I, Kamikaze, great song too. I mean, so yeah, if yeah, yeah. you crammed four songs right into it. I mean, you made a great EP. I mean, now it's just transitioning that into a full length album. So, yeah, I mean, none of those songs are going to be on the record. No, no. Yeah, so, so I mean, the the two original songs that we had, uh, Bridge of Size and Pentabell, were written like in two days. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's just. Like when I decided, like I told the guys, like let's do an EP, two covers, two new songs, and I just wrote those two songs, and then we just went with it. Uh, so, because um, I I like to do like stuff like that separated from a record, because a, a record is a record, you know. Well, I, I mean... don't like I don't like to release like uh, like singles, yeah. like physical yeah. singles off a record. Yeah. yeah. The I mean the 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 cover songs are great because they give you an idea of of not only who you like and am influenced by, but it gives it gives a, us a chance to hear your take on that too. Yeah, which is kind of the whole point with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I mean we we know we don't want you to do the original because then it just sounds like the original. We like you when you put your take on it, and you guys did a really unique put a unique take on both of them. So. Yeah, this, that's nice to hear. You know, that that's what I'm aiming for always when it comes to covers. And uh, I mean, it's uh, that that actually comes from like when when Metallica was started doing covers. Still, they they were kind of doing like the same, but at least when they were doing like Killing a Joke and stuff, I was like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and if you have and the, the cool thing about it is is if people are a fan of you guys and they hear a, hear a song that they might not know, then it, it opens yeah. a door to that band too. Exactly. I mean, that, that's, that, that, that's, I think, uh, it's such a good thing about covers. You know, you, you get to discover another artist, you know, through someone else. Yeah. I would, I would say that I, I learned more about metal just listening to Metallica and the bands they covered than anything. Yeah, well, and punk too. You yeah, know, it says something. And uh-huh. I mean, this there's a bunch of. I mean, this there's a lot of like when Bowie did covers and whatever you know. So I mean, I started listening to Nina Simone because of Bowie. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. So after all this is all said and done, and we're back to a semi-normal life, um, what's on the other than the the new album, are you guys doing anything else? Do you have anything else going on? We have like nothing. We have one show planned in September in Stockholm, and fingers crossed it, it will happen. You know, but you know, with the state of everything now, it's it's so much. Everything is so unsure. You yeah. know. It, Did you have any summer festivals planned or anything? Uh, nothing this year. Oh, okay. I just saw that uh, the Vakken Festival got canceled, so... Yeah, I mean, uh, 
I mean, at the gates was supposed to. I mean, all the festivals I had this summer was with at the gates, and we we've been checking off like festival after festival now. It's like oh, cancelled or postponed until next year. Were so you, it's, what, there's a few left. So what ones were you? What ones are left that you guys still have hope for? Uh, little Cycle Las Vegas. Oh, okay. And uh, and we're. We, we, I mean, it's not. Uh, we we're supposed to do some shows around that too in the U.S. Oh, okay. Uh, but well, I mean, I I doubt it's gonna happen. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I think, and I mean, I'm sure like most of the the festivals over in Sweden are are canceled if they haven't already. They're going to be. So. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, Sweden Rock is not canceled yet, but it's gonna be. And that's I mean, a bunch of band, next a month, bu- isn't it? A bunch of bands have, have already pulled out, like Merciful Fate and Blois the Cults. And, and uh, I mean, I don't know about Guns N' Roses yet, but <laughs> they're probably going to pull out. <laughs> well, isn't the Sweden Rock? That's next month, isn't it? Yeah, uh, well, it's uh, early June. Oh, so it's early I mean, June. Okay. They, they, there's no way they're going to make it happen, you know? No. But they're kind of, I don't know what they're up to there. Yeah. And uh, I mean, that. The only, we only have one festival in Sweden this summer without the gates, and that's the Jävle Metal Fest, which is in July. It's not cancelled yet, but I, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be. And that's in Jävle? Jävle, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds... Well, it's not cancelled yet, so let's keep our fingers crossed that you get to... Yeah, but I, I mean, my, my prediction is that every festival is going to be cancelled this year. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're kind of wondering the same thing over in the States is, is you know, what's going to happen. I mean, it's just like a outpouring and, and you kind of you really want to get in and do some of the stuff. But at the same time, you want to be safe. Yeah. So. So I, my, my question, my one of my last questions for you that I have is, uh, can you give me a song by Bombs of Hades or or at the gates for that matter or both? By title or content that uh, best describes the state of the world right now? Ooh. Well, actually, I mean, the whole album, uh, Atomic Temples with Bones of Hades, is kind of, it's, uh, it, it's not about the virus, but it's about the end of the world. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it, it's, uh, it's about, like, looking for something else outside of this planet that we live on. Uh, it's kind of like, oh, I mean, I don't know, uh, terminal spirit disease, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of is this at all, you know? <laughs> what about At the Gates? Do you think of anything right offhand up from At the Gates? Well, terminal spirit disease. Oh, that's, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Well, Jonas, I appreciate your time and it's been a wonderful talking to you and I hope you know, everybody go pick up Phantom Bell um, and support you guys. You guys have a merch shop online that people can go to? Uh, we actually don't at the moment. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, we've always been kind of an un- really like working on an underground level. Okay. Bomb Swedes. Yeah. So we, we haven't really, we've never had a web shop or anything. So okay. Spain had just sold t shirts at gigs and stuff. Yeah. And, well, if you if you want to buy a shirt, you can just drop us a line on a Facebook page or something. And okay. Just ask for it. We'll yeah. We'll so sort I, you out. I mean, it's it's good to support you guys, and you know, I I've been doing a ton of interviews because I want the bands to get the support because you know this is a livelihood for a lot of them, and it sucks that their livelihood is is kind of taking a back seat to this, and it but it needs yeah. to. But so everybody go out and whatever. However you get it, go buy. Don't just steal. Go buy Phantom Bell. Um, yeah. And support these guys because it's, it's a great EP. So I appreciate yeah, thank your, you very much. I appreciate your time and uh, we'll chat soon. No worries, man. Yeah.